Okay, so dividing polynomials is similar to just dividing if we have um, an x and an x squared or something like that, but we have to look at each of the terms. So in this first one, really what I have to do is I have to remember that I'm kind of dividing this x squared into each term. So the first term, if I would be subtracting the x to the 5 and the x squared. So this would be equal to 6x cubed plus 3x plus 2. I've used my exponent rules and subtracted each time. But when we think about something like this, well, we can't do that because we have two terms in what we're dividing by. Okay, so when we're looking at that, we've got to take into account that we're actually going to be doing long division. Now, long division, if you don't remember, looks like a square root, but it's not. Okay, we would take, what can we divide, or does one, how many times does four go into one? It doesn't, so we would have a zero here, but we don't have to write that zero. So how many times does four go into 10? Well, four goes into 10 two times. Two times four, so then we multiply. So two times four is eight. Then we do 10 minus eight, which is two. And then we bring down the seven, which is 27. How many times does 4 go into 27? Well, 4 goes into 27 6 times. 6 times 4 is 24. Divide. And now we could keep going, but we really don't have to. What we're going to have here then is this division statement. We've got 107 equals 4 times 26 plus... Three. Okay, so when we're looking at this, um, divide the following and then write the division statement. Um, I'm not going to really get you to worry about the dividend and all that stuff. You're going to see in the homework questions that we have dividend divisor. Um, I don't really care about those terms. I don't think that it's necessary. Um, if you come across a question like that and you're confused, you can look at the chart and try to figure it out. But if you're confused, just you don't have to worry about doing those questions. Okay, so looking at this first one, if we're doing polynomial division, you're going to have x minus 3. And I'm writing it over to the side here just to give myself some space. 3x, what is it? 3x cubed minus 5x squared minus 7x, minus 1, okay? And if these terms, if I didn't have like an x squared term, I would still put 0x squared just so that it lines up all of my other divisions. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to divide this first term just by the x, okay? So I'm going to have 3x cubed divided by x, and I'm going to get 3 x squared. Then I'm going to multiply through. So 3x squared times x is 3x cubed. 3x squared times negative 3 is negative 9x squared. Now we're subtracting. So negative 5, these, the first two, sorry, 3x cubed and 3x cubed just is 0. The second one, negative 5 minus negative 9 is negative 5 plus 9. So we get 4 x squared. It's a positive. Then we're going to bring down our negative 7x. Same as what we were doing before. Okay. Next thing we have to do, we're going to keep our sign the same. Negative 5x squared divided by x. Negative 5x. All right. So, or sorry, not negative 5x squared, excuse me. We want to divide the next term. I was just looking at what I was dividing down. The 4x squared by x. Okay, so we're doing it by x again. Okay, we're always dividing by x. Okay, so we're going to have plus 4x. Okay, so we get 4x squared. Now I'm just going to get rid of that squiggly line there. I just think it looks a little confusing. So we've got 4x squared minus 12x which is going to be positive 5x. Bring down the 1. 
divided out, so plus 5, we get 5x minus 15. We've got a remainder of 14. So then what we would write here is 3x cubed minus 5x squared minus 7x minus 1 equals x minus 3 times 3x squared plus 4x plus 5 and then plus 14. I know that that's kind of close to our actual thing, so I'll just put a line here to divide it out. Um, got yeah, plus 14 I'll clean up too. So plus 14. All right, and there's our division statement. So we'll do the same thing here, a little bit harder just because it's a little bit longer, but it doesn't actually change anything. All right, so if I was doing this one, we'd have x squared plus 2x plus 1, dividing, so we've got what, x to the 4, I'm going to have to go back out here, and this is one of the ones, yep, so minus 2x cubed, I'm going to put plus 0x squared, it just helps me keep the lines all lined up, okay, plus 5x plus 3, all right, so working through this. We're going to do x to the 4 divided by x squared. So that's going to be x squared. It's going to give me x to the 4 here. Then plus, this is going to be what, 2x cubed. And then plus x squared. All right. So those x to the 4s are going to cancel out. We're going to get negative. 4x cubed, and then minus x squared. We're going to bring that 5x down, plus 5x. All right, because negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Bring the 5x down. Now we've got to work through again. So we've got what, minus 4x. So then that's going to be minus 4x cubed minus 8x squared minus 4x so we get 7x squared plus x bring down the 3 okay let's make sure oh that's plus 9x oops um everything else looks good so then we are going to divide that out, so we get plus 7x, and then multiply through, 7x squared, oh no, just plus 7. And then we're going to have 7x squared, plus 14x, plus 7. So we're left with negative 5x, minus 4. And I'm not going to write out the... Ah, why not? I'll write out one more division statement. I'm not going to write out any more after this. But you'd have x to the 4 minus 2x cubed plus 5x plus 3 equals x squared plus 2x plus 1 times... And I'm trying to write small here. x squared minus 4x plus 7 minus... 5x minus 4. Alright, last one. Or last one on this page, I should say. There's one more on the next page. So we've got x plus 2. And then this one, I really just need to put it in order. So we've got x to the 4 minus 2x cubed plus 0x squared plus 13x minus 6. Okay, so this is going to be x cubed. So we get x to the 4 plus 2x cubed. 
So that's going to be negative 4x cubed. And then we're going to bring down the 0. We can actually bring down two terms here. It's not going to make a big difference. So plus 0x squared. Um, and we'll just, why not? We'll leave it like that. So we'll go minus 4x squared. So that's going to be negative, what, 4x cubed minus 8x squared. So that's going to be positive 8x squared because we're subtracting the negative. We've got 13x. So then that will be plus 8x. It's getting small here. So we're going to get 8 x squared plus 16x, so that's negative 3x, bring down that 6, I'm sorry, I'm trying to just fit this in, so minus 3, so we get negative 3x minus 6, not equals 0, so this is a perfect divisor, so that means that that's actually a factor of all of this because our divisor, our remainder is zero. So it factors out. So we could really write out the whole thing that I've circled here is equal to this times this. And we'd put plus zero or no remainder so you don't have to put it. All right, last one. Um, Never mind, I just did that one. So we don't have to do it. So in there, yeah, we just said that. If we have a remainder of zero, then that's a 